If you've used the Auto Trim Split tool in Reaper to create separate bits of silence in between phrases, like I'm about to do here, then you end up with separate audio items. Now I've had a question about what if you have a long, long audio program, like an audio book, and you create hundreds of these separate sections, and you've done so in order to create bits of silence in between the phrases. Maybe you've got breaths or little noises you wanted to cut out. Yes, I know some people are saying you should be using a gate for that maybe, um, but sometimes this tool works just as well. And if you've done this, it doesn't mean that you've created a hundred or a thousand different files. And you don't have to worry that you have all of these separate bits because when you're done with the job, it's going to be one file. You just have to go to File, Render, and then pick a name for it. I'm just going to say Rendered Audiobook. I am going to save it in Reaper Media. Render one file. Now let's take a look what that file is. I'm going to mute what we've done here, create a new track, come up to Insert Media File, and let's go to Reaper Media, and we call it Rendered Audiobook. Voila, one file that there rendered as stereo because I just left the default selection. You can also have rendered it as mono. A lot of times voiceover jobs are mono. So let's render it again and show you how to do it if you wanted to do it in mono. So I'll delete that track and we'll unmute this. File, render, choose mono, render, yeah, it exists, so we'll overwrite it. Done. Now let's mute that first track again. Come in here to the second track. Insert media file. Rendered audiobook. And there's your one file. And these sections will still be silent. It's just that they render together as one file, so you don't have to worry about dealing with a hundred or a thousand different little files. I hope that helps.